Hello everyone, it's Infinity Gamer here, and I'm coming to you with a special one-off unpopular opinion video. Now, it seems a bit strange that I would take the time to do a unpopular opinion video in its own right, because I don't struggle to put unpopular opinions out there in my normal videos, so why go to the effort of doing a standard one? I actually think this unpopular opinion has a little bit of merit, and might be a bit of a discussion with everyone as to, is it unpopular or is it just maybe a good point that has been overlooked or has been intentionally ignored? And it's about smoke. So smoke is something that I actually quite enjoy as a mechanic in Infinity, and I, it's definitely not the unpopular opinion that I think smoke should be more expensive or should be removed. Although after this unpopular opinion, maybe people will think that. So smoke, really widely available, generally in really cheap warbands, which I, again, don't have a problem with, and that's not the centre of this unpopular opinion, and also can be very leveraged with some slightly more expensive units, things with MSV2 or MSV1. So I often like to take Varangians and an Epsilon with MSV2 and then set that up so that the smoke goes down and then I can pick off things that don't have MSV2 or Six Sense or MSV and Six Sense using my Epsilon. I then did the same with Moral Aggression Force with using the Osnat, uh, using a smoke grenade launcher, and then potentially setting up the Yaogat uh, multi-sniper MSV2, or even, if I'm desperate, the MSV1 Kaitok, just to, just through the smoke, which is less, less good, but it can still sometimes be better than what the opponent has if you're in a pinch. And so smoke is really good and can be paired with really expensive units. Even if you don't have the expensive units with MSV1 or MSV2, you can still use smoke very well to shield your advance, grab an objective and complete the mission. Smoke, really good. Really nice to have it on cheap units. Even better if you can get it on motorbikes. I'm looking at you, Ariadna. Now, there's one thing about some smoke that does bother me ever so slightly. And that's the center of the unpopular opinion. In that I feel that in order for smoke to be thematic, and realistic, which is one of the things that we, I do like about Infinity is that generally there's, a, there's more realism in the gameplay than there is in other games, is I feel like smoke should be difficult terrain. And the reason for that is because I believe that if, you were war, if you're in, in the thick of war and if smoke is in front of you and you're charging through it and you can't see, so you don't have MSV1 or MSV2, then surely you're going to slow down or you're going to be more cautious when you go through smoke because you could just be running headlong into a lamppost. I, I think I would really prefer smoke if it became a diff temporary difficult terrain because obviously it clears itself quite quickly. But I also feel like that would also provide a bit of balance in some other areas of the game because some of these war bands that do have access to smoke, they're quite cheap. Ranjin is 12 points. I think a monk is maybe 8 points. I don't know that off the top of my head. And often they want to be running up the field as quickly as possible. But, and while people might say thematically the idea of a, a, a monk ch you know, jumping through smoke and just appearing is, is cool, I also feel like thematically the idea of a monk jumping through smoke and smashing into a sign or just running into the side of the building is also just as realistic because you can't see through the smoke. A lot of these units don't have MSV. And while they know where they placed it, a lot of this is supposed to be happening quite quickly. And so the battlefield may have changed in that time or may not have done. But I, just, I think it bothers me a little bit that you have something that's more difficult than some of the other difficult terrains that exist out there. Sand. Yeah, obviously the way the terrain used to work was obviously a lot worse than it currently does, where it doesn't necessarily negatively impede you as much. Um, it's just that things with that terrain get a boost, which is probably the better way of actually handling this terrain. Um, and so I don't think the current mechanism for difficult terrain would work with smoke because everyone currently moves through it normally, whether they can see through it or not, they just they don't treat it like there's any difficulty in going through a big cloud of smoke. But what I feel like it probably, what my unpopular opinion is, is that the mechanics should be changed slightly. So not only does it give us lower visibility that only specialists can see through, but I feel like it should also be treated almost similarly to the old difficult terrain where, and it's carried through a little bit at the moment, is that when you hit smoke, you potentially stop at the edge of the smoke to check yourself and you know, then you can move through smoke with your next order, but, or new rule potentially that you know, your distance movement is halved when you're going through smoke or something like that. I just feel like for smoke works excellently when it comes to its visual modification of the battlefield and AROs in the gameplay, but I feel like it should also work in terms of a movement reducer as well to represent the fact that you can't see through it and you might need to be a bit more cautious going through this area of zero visibility unless, and this is where I don't want to get into the stage and why it's probably unpopular as well, is that you end up with nested rules where it's like MSV1 can move through smoke like normal at 
half reduced movement or MSV2 can move through it as per usual. And I know that's complicated. So what I'm basically hoping for is that people will go in the comments and just kind of go, yeah, actually, do you know what? It doesn't make sense that you can just move through smoke normally, even though you can't see through it and just moving with blind faith. And then someone with some rules knowledge would actually go, yeah, do you know what? A real cool mechanism for that would be you've got terrain total and you, know, you might even have a new terrain type, which is smoke or something like that. And it's if you've got all of those things, you can just move through smoke without any impeding and then any normal unit that doesn't have these sorts of things. So MSV2 might also get a new label that's like terrain smoke or something like that. They can just move through fairly normally. I don't know. I don't have a solution. I don't, I haven't thought it through well enough to go, this is how I wish smoke works. But I was playing a game the other day where smoke was pretty much everywhere. And I was like, do you know what would be cool though? Is if not only my opponent was impacted, like his monks had to place smoke strategically so they want to block line of fire, but they don't want to block their movement path or they've got to take a slightly different movement path. Because they can't just run through smoke, even though they can't see and they've done most of their movement through it. And I can't see them because it's smoke, but they can magic, they can see where exactly where they're running and they don't get confused. And I just thought, you know what, it would actually be quite cool if smoke actually had a bit more of a movement impact as well as just a visual impact. Real short video because my unpopular opinion is done. That's all I've got. But I wanted to put it out there and just go, hey, look, am I crazy? Am I taking crazy pills? Or should smoke actually also have maybe a movement? Uh, modifier as well just to reflect the fact that it is clogging up the battlefield and making it difficult to not only see but also see where you're going i know really interested to read your comments let me know if you whatever you think about it whether you think i'm mad pop that in there because that'd be good to hear but if you agree if you've got suggestions as to how it could be done that wouldn't impact the game too negatively be keen to hear that there's no plan i don't think for a course to address smoke it doesn't need to be it's not broken but that's my unpopular opinion thank you for watching i'll be back soon with more videos